air break. This is my own specialized little Japanese horror movie, you know? <laughs> Lips never in sync. And I'm talking to NorCal Chat, telling him how you're going to direct me in a video showing women how to visit the fountain of orgasm. Yeah. All you got to do is rub the belly. And according to Tracy, um, <laughs> not from Modesto, anyways, um, yeah, she had about six orgasms in the first four minutes or so, Mario said. And, uh, yeah, that's way cool. There was somebody with an open enough mind to fucking play <laughs> a simple technique that lights those pussies on fire, man. And, uh, yeah, so what I was thinking is that we do the video and we incorporate scenes of me actually, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's, those were those cheap fucking horror flicks too, little camera glitches. Anyways, uh, show scenes of me using stevia, okay, to go out and throw punches, you know, snorting it, putting it in my lip like dip. Uh, smoking it maybe 30, 40 times before I step in the cage with you. And then we can show putting in water and drinking and uh, maybe get some testimonials. My uncle, uh, six tumors and 62 pounds gone. And when people start figuring out that the violin works, oh fuck, don't you think that It'll become fairly famous. I'm thinking. Um, yeah. Should I have started this off? Socratic method. Put it like this, brother. I'm doing the best that I can. It's hard when you have no money. I figure that the violin, an apology to women. Yeah. When you rub the belly. Uh, touch fingertips in a violent action. And massage. And you know what? Pelvises literally attack faces. Oh yeah, it's amazing. A woman who is a plague victim. Men who rape can rape and rape and rape and get away with it sometimes, you know? And uh, they can come every time. But lots of women who have been raped can't come, you know, uh, or have hella difficulty. And... Uh, I was with a woman who was a rape victim, and she could have two orgasms maybe in two hours, and I said, you know what, I'm going to shatter that within the first five minutes, but, uh, <laughs> you know, yeah, she lost count, homie, uh, she thought it could have been triple digits, didn't know, didn't really matter, didn't care, it was a lock, it's the fucking key to the candy store, man, key to the house for women sexually, uh, they like it a lot, and yeah, you know, you can call me a one-trick pony, because that's fucking, is that a smooth little, uh, transition right there, uh, yeah, I don't need anything else besides a violin, I mean, if I give a woman, like, 15, 20 orgasms, uh, you know, She's generally fairly fucking happy. And, you know, it's like this. I could go without eating pussy for the rest of my life. But, a guy's got to do what a guy's got to do. So, you know, that porn actress you told me about, um, she should bring some of her friends, you know. And uh, we can discuss a follow-up movie, Okay called the Lesbian Oral Olympics. And you know what? There's more than one woman in NorCal chat that I would love to invite. And yeah, there we go. Uh, you know, rub the belly. And if they didn't do that, uh, I'd be laughing as me and my homeboys took, uh, well, yeah, I got to show, well, this is just a loop, but um, gold, silver, bronze, you know, at the Lesbian Oral Olympics until they caught the fuck on to how to play the violin. It's that good. Putting the... Ooh, 
cut <laughs> putting the fucking uh, I wonder what I'm talking about right there. Uh, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Putting Stevia in the violin, an apology to women, showing me using it every phase, snorting, smoking, dipping, drinking, uh, and what it does. And that movie will go out, and that will become the most popular porn video ever made. And it can lead to... A funny one, the lesbian oral Olympics. You know, we'll get some fucking fine ass lesbians. And then like I said, you know, invite some of the uh, women who know oh so much about eating pussy. Not in NorCal chat. Uh yeah. We'll have a little pussy eat off and uh spank 'em, embarrass 'em and uh put it like this. It's amazing that I have to use my fists to get Stevie famous because no one's waking up. And I think the I think the fucking reason for it is fluoride in our toothpaste. And it goes into the water supply. And fucking that's what the Nazis did to the Jews in Germany. They didn't do it to the Germans. Uh... And then the advent of fucking fluoride toothpaste. You know what? We're doing it to ourselves. It's numbing our brains. They're leading us metaphorically like the fucking Jews. You know? Docile. You know? To the uh, trains. Going to the ovens. And uh, people in America don't realize that Nazi is not... It's not a... Uh, nationality okay it's not German it just happened to take root in Germany and now it's taken hold in America all right buildings don't fall to the ground okay the uh, iron workers will tell you that those things were fucking detonated on the way down uh, there's video proof the fact that we aren't screaming in rage over that shit I don't know what to tell you uh, but people love fucking fighting. And, uh, you know, at 43, with the uh, muscle pulls and muscle tears on my body, I should be, I I would be a derelict, a fucking wreck. And then talk to Bonapur if what you're looking at isn't fucking, uh, yeah. Oh, here we go. Boom. Those Japanese movies, man. Uh, fuck it, I thought they were the bomb, you know, couldn't understand what they were saying, anyhow, uh, yeah, so NorCal chat, what can I say, there's a lot of cool people in there, and Stevia makes it so I'm looking as good as I can, uh, there's a lot of people that are better looking, and when they get on Stevia, they'll become even more so. Stevie is the end to the term big beautiful woman or big beautiful man. I don't know if they say that, but, uh, you know, I know for a fact that there isn't one of you that truly is pleased that you were given a fucking body that was susceptible to the poisons and the toxins that the rich put into the food supply. And also, you know, <laughs> the aisles in the store. Okay, the death aisles, you know, where a lot of our flock grazes and they explode uh, into fat. And then, you know, something explodes within them. And, uh, yeah, put it like this. I didn't want to have to use what my body could do to get this fucking famous, you know. Uh, I, not in fighting, okay, not in that capacity. You know, the trip to Notre Dame would have made this famous, I think, if uh, a lot of fans saw me outrace young black kids, you know, in a 60-yard dash. Um, it didn't happen. And so I got a punch. And what you can do is you can actually 
go to znaturalfoods.com and get a pound. It's only $44.99. Or go to Trader Joe's and get an ounce of Pure for $10. And then have a Tony Montana party. Seriously. Uh, pretend that you are a huge Coke dealer and, you know, you're just throwing an ounce out at a party and have people snort it. They can smoke it. They can dip it. It'll get them wired. But it's legal, okay? It'll give you energy. <laughs> I'll tell you what, it'll make you want to clean the entire fucking house. And, uh, yeah, so it's like this. Uh, you can actually help. You can fucking get involved in the Stevie movement. I don't understand why there's so many haters. Put it like this. I benched 405 pounds when I was a senior in high school. No steroids. I don't understand where people are getting that I was, you know, in some way, form, or fashion, you know, in trouble at Notre Dame for steroid abuse, okay? Uh, uh, no, I never got caught. And I only did steroids once. And you know what? That was after fucking Holt scared the entire team. You know, basically <laughs> telling us, get bigger, faster, stronger. Okay? I'm going to leave it up to you. The end. And uh, one of the worst things I ever did. But I never got caught for it. You know, uh, never tested positive. And, uh, you know, it's a funny thing how Notre Dame is slurring me. You know, trying to make it look like I was actually fucking at fault. I did nothing wrong at that university. I did not try to rape anybody. The fact that the rector of the hall, his testimony proved that those girls were lying. That was my first million dollar opportunity that was fucked up. All right. And uh, the second one was when, oh uh, well, yeah, I mean, put it like this. If Notre Dame's attorneys tell Notre Dame to settle, right? And uh, it's only $20,000 in the lawsuit. Fucking, that means the evidence is overwhelming. And I got kicked out for an attempted rape that I could easily prove I didn't do. So, how many millions is that, right? Strike that, okay? And then, Bobby Chacon, world famous, knows Muhammad Ali. I'm thinking that a Tom Lee, he actually makes the attempt, right? And uh, does what he said he could do. That Bobby's in touch with Muhammad Ali... Tom Leahy's product is worldwide within fucking a couple months. And, uh, you know, I'm looking at huge profit because, you know, I negotiated that deal. And uh, that fell through. And you know what they say? The third time is a charm, okay? Most guys that have a lot of money, you know, they didn't make it the first time that they fucking try to do something. And don't think for a second that me engineering the Bobby Chacon fucking miracle if it happened. Uh, that was a brilliant fucking plan. There's been times, put it like this, you guys fucking think that I'm a scammer, I'm a charlatan. God almighty, you know what? I'm going to give away most of my money and uh, I can make a liquid that allows me to lead a fairly sedentary lifestyle for fucking... Uh, up until 7 to 10 days before this right here. And uh, you know what? If I'm eating like a pig, eating sausage and cheese all day long. Uh, lots of times with ranch dressing. Uh, maybe some lemon juice. Yeah. Oh, very, very good. And, uh, you know, I shouldn't look like this. And I shouldn't fucking be able to hang with... Uh, DJ Roberson for three rounds at an accelerated pace today, okay? Yeah, fantastic sparring. And the fact that I'm clicking on all cylinders two weeks out, man, and I'm looking like that, and it's only getting better. Put it like this, Aaron Brent. The sooner we make that video, the violin, and apology to women, the sooner this thing goes fucking global because that technique actually works and the fact that there are actually idiots in NorCal chat saying that they fucking have known about it for a long time <laughs> you know what homie uh, help me get this famous so I can make a movie that makes a lot of people fucking laugh